Hello and welcome. It's Decision Thursday, September 5th, 2024. I'm Maureen Frank, the Mandala Lady, and today we're going to um, pull two cards to help us make a decision. If you're new to using your intuition for this um, type of card pull, I would pick something simple like what you want, the two choices you have for lunch or dinner. Um, so, um, so I'll, I'll just say right now, this is for entertainment and enlightenment purposes only. Okay. Let me figure out what deck we're using. This one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. We're using metal today. Oh, I'll show you in just a second. Ah, okay. Metal. Oop. Metal. All right. So, um, we're setting an intention to receive insight and guidance as to two options we have at this time that we would like help in making a decision. So for me, um, I'm wanting to get insight about whether to focus my energies on my Etsy shop or start a Shopify site. At the moment, I don't have any products online. Um, I have products to put out. I just haven't, you know, whatever. <laughs> so I'm just, so for me, option one. Oh, okay. So pick a decision, get grounded, breathe. Okay. I split the deck. Okay. So I'm not going to show you, I want to show you the backs first so you can assign what, uh, each option is. So this is option, oops, option one which for me, I'm going to assign um, Etsy. That's option one. And this, is, and this is option two, which I'm going to assign to Shopify. Okay. Ready to find out what they are. So with these, it's not so much that the cards will tell us which way it, to go. It'll just give you insight about the energy behind one option over another option. So, so option one for me was Etsy. So option one is polarity, polarity. And its message is, message, polarity. Everything is dual. Learn to work with it. <laughs> it's not really, <laughs> hold that thought. And for option two, it's hallelujah, hallelujah. And let me see what that exact message is. 15, 15. Celebrate the wins big and small. Okay, so give me a moment. So option one, polarity. Option two, hallelujah. Okay. So if if you were to if we were to choose option one, what's the insight and guidance about option one? that uh, we're supposed to work with duality. Um, oh, I'm hearing it's neither good nor bad. Um, oh, it's neutral. So there's a sense of neutrality with this option. Um, and now I'm hearing the song, Life is What You Make It. I would sing it, but um, my voice is a little off this morning. Uh, life is what you make it. So. So if we were to go to this option, then um, it's neither good nor bad. And so treat it from a place of neutrality. Um, it just is. And then we have, uh, it's up to us how we want to make it to, whether to be successful or not, or uh, a, a positive option. If we go with option two, the energy is hallelujah, which... <laughs> I'll share a little personal thing. It kind of reminds me of um, when I called my parents to let them know I was going to be divorcing my first husband. That was pretty much their reaction. Hallelujah. <laughs> my dad apparently had prayer hands thing. Thank God. So um, so with this hallelujah, it almost seems like this is uh, the way, to, could be the way to go. Um, it's just... It's, uh, but with the message saying that celebrate the wins big and small, 
that while you may want um, big positive outcomes from this, that it there may be small uh, small wins and to celebrate it all because it's all part of the s step forward, you know, and, and getting bigger and bigger. So um, let me see anything else to add to either one of those. Um, again, you're being reminded that it's just giving you the energy of that decision. So with the, uh, to, to sum up polarity, that one is going to be that it's, it's neither a bad or a good or a bad it's um it's how we want to make of it that's how we make of it and this one is just so so it almost seems like this could be a little more challenging so celebrate the wins as a way big or small as a way to keep moving forward with this option anything else to add to that no it seemed like there was something else okay let me see um Again, these are just um, the energies of these options, just what feels right to you. So for, so for me to, to talk about my um, situation, so I already have an Etsy shop. At, I haven't had anything in it for, gosh, at least three or four years. Could be BC before COVID since I had anything on there. So um, it would be nothing to um, get back in there. The, the shop's still there. I just need to add and... Uh, yeah, just put put the products on there. Uh, with this one, this one it's to do Spotify, that would mean so the Etsy. There's no fee. You only you oh you pay a fee to post, and I think if it hasn't changed, it should be nominal, like twenty cents to, for each product you add. With Spotify, it's a monthly payment, and then it's actually it's actually a, they consider it a website that you have so this would be a big leap forward this would be um pushing me out of my comfort zone so those are things i'm going to take into consideration when i i haven't decided which way to go there's a big yeah there's a bigger expense with upfront expense with this um last i checked it was something like 30 dollars a month 39 dollars a month or something like that i don't know it could be by the time you see this video, it could be uh, $59 a month. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, um, so that's Decision Thursday. Hopefully you found that at least fun uh, or helpful. Till the next time, take care. Bye-bye.